Welcome to another video of Walk on the Wild Side and I'm here in Blackpool, only just in Blackpool. I'm right on the border here towards the south. I'm at the southern end of Blackpool Promenade. We've got the sign here that says welcome to Blackpool. A great place to visit, a better place to live. It's a bit faded though. Look at that there. I think they could do with a new sign, couldn't they? Um, they do seem to be lacking a little bit at these, you know where tourists come in, people go into Blackpool, plant pots and all that, could do with tidying some of these places up. But anyway, enough of that. Just behind me is the archway, the entrance to Blackpool. Illumination, bit of road rage going on here behind me. <clears throat> it must be warming up for the illumination. It's a Sunday evening. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk along here towards the south pit. It's pretty quiet down this end pretty quiet at the moment anyway there's not going to be any beer monsters in this video no loud music well maybe towards the end but we'll see it's going to be a bit of a chill video we'll have a little look around this part of Blackpool Promenade I don't come down here too often but it's my favorite part it's one of my favorite parts of Blackpool Promenade this part here and you know where the um, the Cliffs Hotel is the cabin lift I like it up there because it's high up but uh, I'll just turn the camera on and show you what I can see well this is where the old loop is for the trams. They used to turn round here on a big loop until they built that over there. And that was opened in about, what was it, 2010 or something like that, when the, when the Flexity trams came in. And we've got this spare land here where they used to have a crazy golf course and there used to be like a caricature of a, of a man there as well. Just over there is like a toilet block some toilets over there I believe there's like a radio station in there or something I'm not too sure but I'll just have a little look down here I want to show you down these are the sand dunes so as you go over that way there you're into St Anne's I'll just turn around this way there's Lemon Tree Court over there used to be a pub Lemon Tree there just over there I went in there a couple of times as well but uh, I'm going to head along the promenade towards the South Pier but I just want to quickly show you down here, down the ramp onto the beach. Check it out, Blackpool Light Craft Club. Where's all the boats? It's normally stocked with loads of boats in this yard here, but I can't see any. Well, that's weird. But anyway, as I come out of there, we've got here the Stargate Slipway. Yeah. There's all the warning signs there. So you can drive down here onto the beach if you dare. I wouldn't do it, by the way, because uh, there's been quite a few cars drive down here onto the beach and they've become a cropper. I did a video on one last year, but just look at this view now. Oh, look at that. Looking right across the estuary there now. We're almost at the estuary of the River Ribble. Here's another view from a bit further on. Those lights that you can see in the distance there, those are the lights of Southport. It's double clear this evening. Just look at this now. How peaceful. And there is a massive rig out there. Just look at the size of that rig there. It's absolutely huge. That must be off the coast of North Wales, that. It's massive. Anyway, we'll take a little look up here because uh, this is the start of the new, they started all this in about the, about the millennium, was it, when they did all this promenade? There used to be a go-kart track round there that we used to go on. We're just going around the back of the, the tram shelter there. This is the other side of the, this is the other side of the, uh, the like, I can't see any boats in here. What's happened to all the boats? It's like as if the place is shut up, I don't know. Let me know if anyone knows anything about that, but we'll just head up here because just up here there's a There's an artwork up here and it's the first of the artworks that go all the way from here right up to The sandcastle Do you remember the the high tide organ that they had at the sandcastle? Well this that was the last one. This is the very first one if you're coming from this end. Yeah So we'll just check this out. It probably doesn't work because a lot of these things were put in and then they weren't really maintained but uh, 
I think it's something to do with the wind or something like that. These things are supposed to light up. Let's have a look down here. There's a plaque down here which tells you what it is. The sound of the wind looks like this. Stephen, is it Huron? 2003 it says there. Powered by the wind, the artwork makes a visible, visible the strength and direction. Well, it probably used to, but I've never seen it working. So this is what we've got down here. And uh, oh, I can't get enough of this view. Just look at this. Just listen to the sound of the sea. Wouldn't you just love to be here in Blackpool right now? Okay, I'm going to make my way to South Pier now. I'll tell you what, it's pretty quiet down this part of uh, the promenade as well. If anybody's seen that artwork down there uh, working, let me know, because I've never seen it working and I've been down here loads of times at night as well. And I've never seen that thing working. But anyway, I'm now making my way through one of these like seating area things here. Just round the back of the... Uh, the tram depot if I turn you around there you go we're just coming around the back of the tram depot now it's really calm this evening as well just look at the sea can you see it's really really calm tonight it wasn't like that last night I tell you what anyway we're just coming up to the front of this uh, tram depot where they all go in and we've got a heritage tram here that's the Sir Ken Dodd that one yeah it looks a bit like the one me and the map master went on they're keeping them here, of course, because they've got problems at the original depot. So they are keeping the heritage trams and the light up ones here for the time being. So let's have a, a bit of a look at the Sir Ken Dodd. There you go. Right. But it is pretty quiet, as you can see. Uh, we'll find out what it's like on the road in a minute. The traffic does seem to be building up a bit, but as you can see, <laughs> there's not many people walking along this part of the promenade but I tell you what it's pretty clear as well if I zoom in up there can you see the Lake District it's pretty clear tonight anyway I can now see the bright lights of the Black Brother Illuminations let's go and check them out quite a lot of people walking along here now they all seem to be wearing the same sort of clothing as well. I wonder if it's a charity walk or something, but I can't get enough of that view out there. Just look at that. Wow. Check it out, HMS Blackpool. Driving backwards, look at this. That'll be heading up to the loop. Oh, it's stopping for us, look at that. And as you can see, we've got the illuminations lighted up now. Look at this, wow. So that'll be doing the tours tonight. We might see that a bit later on, actually, all lit up, we'll see. Okay, we're just coming up to a big circle here. Now, this is where one of the artworks is missing. Does anyone remember Frankenstein? Well, that used to be, it's like a diving tube, a diving capsule thing. And it was right there, weird, weird sort of thing. It had a window in it and a dinosaur. And uh, this thing here, it's supposed to be a sign telling you what everything is, but as you can see, it's, uh, there's nothing there. So I don't know what's happened to that. So yeah, it is a little bit, uh, there's a normal tram. That's going to Little Bisbee, that one there, look. Anyway, I'll just put a picture on now of Frankenstein that I took ages ago, not long after it had been put in. So you can see what it used to look like, but it didn't look like that before they took it away. It was a bit of a rust bucket. <laughs> it was. They still got the plaque down here, though. What does it say? It says the Frankenstein project, and it was installed in 2001, and it was by Tony Stallard, inspired by freak shows. Yeah, so that's kind of what it was. What it was about. I think if you look through the window. There was a, what looked like a, 
a T-Rex in there or something. Oh, just over the road, by the way, that's a Crescent. You can see we've got a hotel over there. We've got the Carousel Hotel. And this is a Crescent. This is one of three Crescents along Blackpool Promenade. Here is just that's just a block of flats there. So this is pretty much where the hotels start, right here. And that's the first Crescent that we'll see. So there you go, that's the first hotel in Blackpool, the new Mayfair, but it's not open. It does have scaffolding on it though, so maybe they're doing something with it. Just over here we've got the Carousel Hotel. That's all lit up, so that one's open. Uh, just behind me is another artwork, check this one out. It's quite interesting, looks like it needs a bit of a paint job though. What do you reckon? This one is called... We're under the water here, aren't we? Water Wings, and it's by Bruce Williams. There you go, Water Wings. Yeah, like I say, it could do with a, a lick of paint, I think. Now then, we've now got the Western train tram. Check it out. We're seeing it all in this video, aren't we? Not lit up yet and travelling backwards towards its start point. But anyway, just behind me is another artwork. This one is called Glam Rocks. Yep, they're supposed to light up. Uh, they're not lit up at the moment. I think they do. Uh, it says down there, Glam Rocks, and that's by Peter Freeman. Again, 2001. We're seeing some of the surviving artworks. We have seen one that's, that's uh, not there anymore. Anyway, we're now coming up to the most famous of the artworks, the Great Promenade Show. That's what it's called. Just up here, we've got the Blackpool Mirabal. Yeah, so all these artworks, are named the Great Promenade Show, but it's not so great nowadays, really, because a lot of them have been taken away, like Frankenstein. They took the high tide organ away. Some of them even got stolen, or they tried to nick some of them. <laughs> yeah, so it's not really a great promenade show. Not like it was when it was first installed, anyway, but we've still got the mirror ball just up here. Starting to get a bit more lively now. That's the Solaris Centre over there. It used to be called the Solarium. It's around about 1930s, 1930s deco that. And that is just opposite. This, check it out. And they've got the light shining on it. Oh, I'll tell you what, you get a bit disorientated standing there. Just look at these lights here, look. Oh, it's enough to make you feel dizzy. Well, I tell you what, there's plenty of people around here at the, the Blackpool Mirabal. Certainly a lot of people around here, yeah. So that's one of the artworks that's uh, pretty safe. And they have to keep replacing the mirrors every so often. They replaced the mirrors there a couple of years ago. I did, I did a video on it, but I'm making my way north now just over there is the headlands hotel on the corner a grand hotel that looks like 1930s i think that they might be doing something with that you know i've heard they might be doing modernizing that we'll wait and see but anyway let's carry on now you see just over there we've got the hampton by hilton hotel which was extended a couple of years ago and we've got another crescent just going in there can you see that's on another crescent just here we've got uh, a donation point for the illuminations if, if you want to do donate. I wouldn't because I live here, I pay council tax, I've already donated enough. But uh, let me know in the comments if you, uh, if you donate to the illuminations when you come. It looks like they're, they're getting some donations as, a, as another tram comes past. 
They won't be going to North Station now because uh, it's just gone seven o'clock, so the North Station stop is off now. So I just want to give you another angle on the on this crescent here. So we've got the Hampton by Hilton. Now the hotels that used to stand there are the Warwick, from what I can remember, and the Palm Beach Hotel on this crescent here. The second crescent. By the way, the third crescent is just north of the tower, or just north of the Metropole, and that's Lansdowne Crescent, where, you know where the Claremont Hotel is, and the Kim, not the Kimberley, the Kimberley's here, <laughs> and that's the, that's the decrepit, actually. Um, Tiffany's, yeah, Tiffany's. But anyway, I was just, just mentioned the Kimberley, that's the Kimberley over there, that's all boarded up, and it's been like that since 2014. Yeah, what a shame. It's a bit of an eyesore on this crescent right here, but anyway, just behind me, we've got another artwork. Check, what, check this one out. This one is called Desire. Look at that. It's even lit up as well. Yeah, so that's Desire, and that was by Chris Knight. All of these were installed 2001. If you remember anything about this promenade before it was all done, let me know in the comments because you know I, my memory I do remember I remember the rock gardens the sunken gardens I remember the the go-kart track but apart from that I can't really remember a whole lot really so let me know in the comments uh, what you remember about this part of Blackpool Promenade and just north of Desire is another big circle here as you can see there's never been anything on this one though I think there was meant to be artworks on all of these big circle things here but there's nothing on this one so we'll carry on we're getting close to the pleasure beach what's that say over there wall la Berg. hot food and desserts has anybody been in there looks quite fancy that it's not far from the pleasure beach Okay, it's starting to look a bit more familiar now. We've got the big one there, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, all lit up. It's not open though. I think it will have closed at six o'clock maybe tonight, six o'clock on a Sunday. Just here we've got a seat, we've got a bench there underneath a, a big like whale fin. Now these things were supposed to spin around in the wind. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that was a good idea though, so the council, not long after putting them in, they locked them. Yeah, so if you look down here, there's like a, a disc, a disc there, that's meant to uh, spin around. And uh, there's a plaque under there as well. I can't, I'll just try and read the plaque. Swinging wind shelters. Uh, I'm struggling to read that. Ian Chesney, or Ian Chesney, sorry. Sorry, I can't read that, but anyway, uh, that didn't really, um, they didn't really, um, I think there was a bit of a health and safety issue with those. Oh, I can hear sirens, it's kicking off in Blackpool. It's all right, it's just an ambulance. Are we going to get the Doppler shift? Oh, a little bit. Okay, here's another artwork that's no more. This is where the sculptures were by Peter Blake, Life is a Circus. They stood on these plinths here. They're about four, four or five foot tall. And uh, someone tried to nick them not long after we put in metal thieves, tried to nick them. There was one of them on each of these plinths. I mentioned it on the recent video, but they're no longer there anymore. And the plinths are just empty, look. So that's another, another one of the artworks that they had to take away. I can't actually believe that they didn't think that someone was going to try to nick them, actually, looking back. Some people will just nick anything, won't they? So let's have a little look at uh, the pleasure bit. We'll have a quick look at the pleasure bit, so I'm going to scootle past it because we know about the pleasure bits, don't we? So let's carry on. I'm rushing a bit now because I want to see if I can catch HMS Blackpool leaving, leaving the loop where the heritage tram stopped just up here. 
So hopefully we'll get a sight of that. Check out this out pier over there, roll it up. Wow. Well, the Pleasure Beach is closed, but the piers are still open and they'll be open till late. So they've got all the atmosphere, the piers now. This is just an interesting bit here. I just wanted to show you, you might have seen it before, but we've got a big area here with three circular, three big circles. Now it was said that this was meant to be where the footings were, where the towers were for a, a ride that comes across the promenade from the Pleasure Beach. So it's meant to be like a big ride, a track coming across here from the Pleasure Beach. Uh, um, but is it a myth? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. It's getting a lot more lively now as I come down here. That's Watson Road Tunnel there that goes underneath the Pleasure Beach. It used to split the Pleasure Beach in half. Just going past this car park here. South Beach is where we are now. I can see the tram over there. HMS Blackpool. I think we're going to get it, folks. Some places still open in Ocean Boulevard, Mr. Chippy. Don't forget we've got my, my Candy just over here. Shout out to my Candy, friends of the channel. Ripley's Believe It or Not, Pizza Hut. Now, oh, just over here, check it out, HMS Blackpool. Now then, look at this. HMS Blackpool. It looks like they're uh, getting ready to leave. It's pretty full up. Oh, they're going, they're going, they're leaving. And we've also got the Western, the Western train tram coming in as well. Oh, we're being treated here. Look at this. There you go. There goes HMS Blackpool. And we've got a crowd waiting here. Ready to get on the Western train tram. Now then, this is interesting. It's uh, it stopped here. Oh it's, oh, it's moving now. I thought it got stuck there for a minute. <laughs> oh, there you go. Now then, here comes H. Oh, got the horn going. You all right? How are you doing? There you go. So there it goes on a tour of Blackpool Promenade. Before I carry on, I just want to show you something up here now. We're very close to the sandcastle now. We're right at the end of the great promenade show of artworks. And if I turn you around, straight ahead, just up there, was where the high tide organ used to be. They had to take it down because it was falling into disrepair. Does anyone remember it? It wasn't too long ago and I did a video on it. It used to make sounds as the waves come in. It was about, it was about 20, 30 foot high. And I think it was really good. And it's a shame that uh, it got into disrepair and they had to take it down. So there you go, that was where the, the high tide organ once stood. We're now, which way do I go now? I'll tell you what, go, let's go around the back of the sandcastle, shall we? So we'll just walk up here. This is where the high tide organ was. I don't even know if they've left the plat there. I think the plat might still be there. <clears throat> it is actually, so if you come down this way, check. Oh no, it's not. That's just a manhole. <laughs> I thought that was a plaque. They've taken the plaque down. 
they've taken all the evidence away. But anyway, let's go around the back. Let's go into the darkness here around the back of the sandcastle, shall we? For a change. Oh, I'm going into the darkness now, folks, but I can see the bright lights of the South Pier over there. Can anybody remember when we had the open air baths here? Because this is where the open air baths were, right here where the sandcastle is. You can see it on old photographs. The open air baths, they used to have competitions there. They used to have Miss World competitions. And there's pictures of um, Sid James and, you know, all the Bruce Forsyth and all those sort of people judging the competition. But look at that there now towards the South Pier, the bright lights of the South Pier. The Pleasure Beach is not open, but the South Pier is and it's rocking. Well, they're definitely having fun on the South Pier. It's, it certainly sounds pretty lively tonight. I'm gonna have to see if I can do a video on there sometime. I did do a video on there a few years ago, but I never released it. Yeah, can you see Blackpool Tower over there? Look at that Blackpool Tower. Anyway, I'm just coming around the other side of the sandcastle. There used to be a go-kart track here, kart, kart in 2000. Uh, this part of this part here has been empty since i think the go-kart track now is just up at the uh, you know the boot the boating pool boating pool boating pool where the cabin lift is but uh, they're trying to let this bit of land out for something whether they will do or not but uh, we're now just coming back to the bright lights again just around here we've got the the grosvenor casino over there we've got the velvet coaster everyone's favorite weatherspoon or do you prefer the albert and the lion let me know in the comments but there you are there's the the grosvenor casino doesn't it look fancy and that that's been a few other things that part of the sandcastle it's been the coronation street experience and it's been the crystal maze and now it's the grosvenor casino there you go So I'm finishing here at the South Pier and the bright lights. It's, uh, I'll tell you what, there's a nice atmosphere here tonight on a Sunday evening. The weather's a lot better than it was last night. It's not it's nice and calm tonight. There's loads of people here. It's not too busy on the road for the illuminations, but uh, that was a little walk along Blackpool Promenade. We're tucking the great promenade show all the way from Squires Gate, dead quiet down there. It's not so quiet where I am now. It's, uh, yeah, it's actually good to see. The business is here, the Mr. Whippy ice cream is doing well. They're all doing pretty well here, yeah. There's loads of people, they've got coaches. So there you go, that's it for this video. If you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.